I dug crap here, crap here, and I had another screamer. Thought it was gonna be a quarter. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Looks like uh, two pennies there. I think. Yeah, just two pennies. I don't know if they're old. Well, actually, that one's not. No. Just memorials, but hey, it's a coin spill. It's a good way to start the day. Uh, and I got a Clyde quarter. <laughs> Yippee me. But, uh, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Hopefully we can get on some good stuff today. Um, I've dug buffs out of here. I've dug silver, old silver, my oldest silver coin, 1898, Barber Dime. Came out right about where my finger is. Take a buff here a couple days ago. Oh, well, not really. A couple days ago. A couple, a couple weeks ago. About two, three weeks ago. Um, found some, some crazy stuff here, so we're going to keep hitting it. Hit the low tones, the mixed tones, the junk tones. We're going to pull something good. Just wait. Well, I'm finally on something to, that is decently cool and old. It's not a coin. I've only dug one before, and it was at this location, actually. You can see it down in the hole. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and pop it out. Look at look 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 look. It looks so pretty. I love these. Just never ever find them. If I can get it out of the hole, can't even grab it. Yes, yes it is. It is my second ever hem weight. Of course, I tried to blow the junk out. I can't get it out. A little bar in the center. The last one I found out of here, I believe, was a four. Hang on a second. Let me, let me give it just a good rub real quick. Uh, ooh, this one's a three. That's cool. So I found a four, and now I found a three. Well, I was getting a bouncy tone towards penny, copper penny-ish. I got a 1240 for the E-Track guys. Uh, and I popped this up. Now most of you were thinking, well that's a piece of junk, it's just aluminum. I flipped it over. Look at that. It's just junk. But it's pretty junk. A little, little kid ring, something like that. Get it cleaned up and I'll try to get it straightened out. Well it's not the prettiest thing in the world. I just tried to make it back into, you know, a ring. But... Sure, something was there on the front, but it's gone now. That's awesome. Junk ring or not, it's still a ring. I love jewelry. Look at a nice choppy signal right next to a big chunk of iron. That's why I popped it. Plug came up and got a weedy staring back at me. Thought all the weedies in this area were gone. Looks like a greenie. It's a nice one. The date real quick. Uh, 1918D. It's a good old coin to start the day. Now I haven't got any Indians in this section. It's super trashy. So if I get one over here, that'd be awesome. Either way, it's a good in, uh, good weedy on the day. Well, down in this hole, a couple inches deep, I hit it a little bit. It's a nice Jefferson quarter. Jefferson quarter. It's nice Jefferson Nicholas, 1959. Hopefully we can get on a buffer or something. I think I got old silver. Give me a dime signal right here. Let's see it. It's little and thin. Real thin. Let's go ahead and get some spray. It's at least a barber. It's gotta be at least a barber. It was so worn. That's the one dime side. It's a light little ribbon. You can see it there. One dime. That is super worn. And it's an S. Come on, baby. Be a seated. I've never found a seated coin. No, but it is my new oldest coin. 1896 S. Barber dime. That is 
freaking awesome. That gives me high hopes for this area over here. Heck yes, that's what I'm talking about. Cleared a zinc penny when I popped this plug and then there was a coin impression right here. Well, I got it out. It's a buffalo nickel. I just dropped in the hole. Beautiful. It's a no date. It's a beautiful buff. It just pays to go low and slow. Dig all the trash out of your way so you can get all the good stuff. All right, guys, we're gonna finish this one live. Um, it was it was hitting. Got a nice deep plug. Already pulled out a big chunk of dirt, and we're starting to pick her up right in there. It was it was pinging up there. Could be silver. Could be. I mean, it could be just a penny. And I think it is. You can see it right here. The greeny. Just a penny. I think it's just a Lincoln. I hope it's at least a weedy. Yeah, it's a weedy. Sweet. My second wheat on the day. It's just a baby. It's a 1958D. It's awesome, but I'll take it. I'll take it all day long. Make sure it was in there by itself. Yep, no friends. No friends for me. All right, I was getting a deep, crappy tone. Popped it up. I was, I was looking at this going, what the heck is that? And I got to looking at it. Got a little angled piece on there. Hole. I believe that was the old wagon break. If I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that it used to be on like a long stick and that's used to how they that's how they used to stop the wagons back in the day. That's an awesome find. I'll take that any day of the week. Never found one of them before. I was getting a pretty deep coin tone. It was almost like a Indian head penny and I popped this out. And I was like, I just get a nickel or something? I believe it's foreign. I think it's gonna be my oldest foreign coin. I think my oldest foreign coin to date is like a 62 Canadian. It's a Dutch coin, it's a 10. <laughs> oh, I think it's that old. Yeah, it's 1899. Well, it's a foreign coin I don't have. Not old, but it's a cool one. We're gonna keep on swinging. Make sure you guys see that. Got like weed or something on the back. I was getting a scratchy zinc penny tone. I thought I was gonna have an Indian. But she's a weedy. A weedy. I think it's a 1917. That would be awesome. Working up next to this big old tree right here. Hopefully I can get some silver. That was a scratchy tone, so I know what to look for now. Well, I already pulled one piece out. It was pretty toasted. This one's not so bad. Ooh, that's an eye on both sides. I think it's aluminum play money. I'm not sure. I've seen them with peas and all kinds of stuff on them. So if anybody knows what that is, leave a comment. Let me know. But I think it's just play money. Uh, welcome to today's wrap up. Um, start with the, <laughs> the crusty zinc pennies I dug a hundred of today. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of one that you can't even tell her pennies. I got a bunch of coppers, a bunch of nickels, a couple dimes. I got a bunch of quarters today. I believe this used to be an old wagon break. Got a little 38 special D buckle. Got a little teapot. Junk aluminum ring. Uh, got a nice little hem weight. This is a German coin. It's 10 finnings. See it there. And uh, the mint is J. You can see at the top there was uh, a proof set. And there was a, a set only. I don't really know what that means. But uh, there was 45,000 of the proof made and there was 70,000 of the set made. So I'm not sure what that would put the value of this. I'm sure it's probably not too much or anything. But it's a nice little foreign coin. I thought it was going to be older than it was. 
Got on three little wheats today. 1958D, 1918D, 1917D. Got on a nice little lonely buff today. And for my find of the hunt. I can't believe I found a Barber Dime. And I believe it's my first S Mint Barber Dime as well. It is an 1896. That is my new oldest silver coin. Uh, my previous oldest was found at the same location. It was 1898. For you guys that don't know, I've said it many times in many videos. I've never found a seated coin. So, hopefully one day I'll find one. I'm going to keep that up. Hopefully I can find some more good stuff like this. I'm going to try to get some more permissions next weekend. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys next week. Dig it all. You ain't going to find nothing if you're not digging, and you ain't going to find nothing if you're skipping midtones and stuff like that, guys. You got to dig a lot of the trash to get the good stuff. Yeah, I hope you guys get out and find some good stuff this year. Uh, it's still early, and I'm doing quite well compared to what I used to do, but I'm also doing a lot more private permissions. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next week. Happy hunting.